you know, they're numerous. Uh, filling the board is an issue for us, so marketing is going to be a key consideration for us. I really see our business as being one of identifying hand raisers and getting good salespeople in front of them, and I understand that model. We just have to get better at it. Obviously, we've got to execute and deliver the quality service that people are paying for. We want to do that, but we're not doing it as well as we need to, so we've got to work on our execution and our quality and getting people you know on board with you're out there not only are you representing Joe Cool Air Conditioning you're representing yourself this is what this is our craft it's what you do for a living and it needs to be the best work that people can buy you know it's a mixture I'm very excited about the marketing things today but I think as much as anything I've kind of delegated some of my leadership obligations to others and look to them to deliver on those things and, and, and I haven't been as effective as I need to in communicating and getting people aligned with this is the expectation, this is what I need you to do, and you're accountable. And, and I think just, you know, this is information we've all probably heard at one time or another, but getting it repackaged and kind of shoved at you it, as it has been is, is a good thing for us to hear, good thing for me to hear. It's strong. I mean, it would be one thing to be in a hotel and you might kind of wonder what does it all mean, but as I walk through the organization and, and see it and you interact with people and they interact with me, I don't have this in my company. There's a gem here. I want it in my company and I recognize more today than I did when I got here whose responsibility it is to get that going. So that, that's, that's been a great takeaway. You know, it's hard to quantify, but I think, I, I think some of the exercises that Mike has is doing in terms of how much money have we lost, how much money have we wasted, how much time have we wasted, that helps put a little bit of framing around it. Um, you know, is it 20 to 1, is it 50 to 1, 100 to 1? I, I don't know. That'll be up to me to a large degree, but it's a big number. Fear, you know, fear of throwing the money away, fear of what am I going to hear, fear of failure, all those things are probably, you know, high on the list. It's probably less of a budgeting issue and more of a what am I going to get in return. And, and I had that too, but the guy who recommended it, he doesn't get excited about anything. And I've known him a couple of years, I've never seen him get excited. He got excited about this, and that was really the breakthrough for me. So uh, I, I understand now why he's excited. I'm going to share some of that enthusiasm with you know other colleagues around. Or maybe I shouldn't, because I want to own the market. Uh, all right, I just want to give you an update uh, kind of back here. It's now day three. I got off to a very strong start and pretty enthusiastic the last time. Uh, it just keeps getting better. And as much as anything, the real cool thing is he's in my business, he knows the pain points, and this is real stuff for service contractors. I'm all in. Well, there's a whole bunch of things. You know, the 135 rule, which you have to come here to see, is a really cool thing. But it's really about prioritizing your work, getting good alignment with your team members, making sure that everybody understands what they need to do and what their role is, and then holding them accountable. And in the end, we don't want to have a, uh, an environment where people don't know what they're supposed to do, and we got expectations all crisscrossed, and I think a lot of the things that have come out here have been very helpful to, to help get that, keep that straight.